particles passing through the mask is basically the same as if you shoot an arrow into a forest. It's not a given, but it's highly likely that the arrow will hit something when it's passing through this forest. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about the differences of these respirator ratings. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a respirator rating comparison. So let's get it. I don't know how to classify this vlog. Maybe it's a DIY project. I don't know. I will list you the DIY projects right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. Also, before we get started, this is part of a collaboration with my boy Steven from Tech Magnet. Check out the video right here. It's definitely going to be awesome. And now let's get to the topic. The sources will be linked in the description. I found something amazing and let's talk about it. Let's talk about the differences of these respirator ratings. The difference between a surgical mask and an actual respirator should be clear now. So I won't get into this. Actually, I will get into this in the next vlog. You can check it out right here. Different types of masks, but now let's get to the respirator ratings. It is important to mention that respirators are of course better than masks, but they are no absolute barrier. They have a rejection ratio. They don't act like a shield, they act more like a labyrinth. And I heard this amazing quote from Tech Ingredients, particles passing through the mask is basically the same as if you shoot an arrow into a forest. It's not a given, but it's highly likely that the arrow will hit something when it's passing through this forest. And when you compare the particle size, to the mask thickness, it's actually quite a lot. It's literally like shooting an arrow through a forest. What an amazing analogy. So let's get to the classification. The most used is the N95 thingy. What the hell is that? Also, there are FFP ratings, most commonly used in Europe. And then there is also KN, which is getting more and more popular because this is a Chinese classification. And as you know, Chinese is pumping out masks. So we will also get to this. So the N thing is an American standard. The FFP is a European standard and the KN is a Chinese standard, as I just said, just to make this clear. Now let's compare. As I said, they all, they have a rejection rating. FFP1, face filtering piece one, level one, basically. They remove at least 80% of all particles that are 0.3 microns in diameter or larger. Moving up a level, FFP2, at least 94%. This is also very similar to the N95 and they remove at least 95% so in one of my last vlogs, you can check it out right here, I reviewed my new half mask, which is amazing. And I got a lot of comments, so oh, this will protect you from the virus. Only FFP3 will protect you from the virus. Uh, yes and no. Let's just say it is a reasonable protection and it's better than nothing. But of course, the higher you go, the better it is, the safer you will be. Let's move up another level, N99 and FFP3. I haven't heard about an actual N99 filter, but there is N100. Anyway, so FFP3 will remove 99% P3 99.5 and N100 will remove at least 99.97%. So again, FFP3 is very similar to N100, but it still won't remove all of it, you're not 100% safe. That is the important message right here. Although it will give you the best protection out of these disposable respirators. To make it short, N95 is pretty much the same as FFP2 and the N100 is basically the same as the FFP3. Let's get to the upcoming KN95 one. Yes, it is similar to the N95 one. Read up my guys, but just that you know, there are a lot of scams, so don't get trapped. So this basically concludes the lessons for the ratings on respirators, disposable ones. The non-disposable ones also have a rating, but this will definitely need further investigations because there are many more things to know. If you're interested, then check out this vlog right here. And as I said in the next one, I will get to a comparison of more types of masks because I'm not a big fan of disposable respirators. I got myself this half mask and oh my God, when I tried it on the first time, it is amazing. The seal is something else. I have never achieved a seal like that with a disposable respirator. Professional medical respirators, they have this thing to bend, but it just doesn't work for me. I don't... I, I, so bad. So if you have the chance to get a half mask with snap-in filter pieces or, ex you know, somehow exchangeable filter pieces, definitely go for it. These are amazing. I can totally recommend them. But yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one, I guess. Smash that like button the way I want to smash all disposable respirators. No, actually, that doesn't make sense. I just love my half mask. Bang the bell like clap, pop, to never miss DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.